as some of you know, because you've been here from the beginning, Women Leaders for the World um, has been um, offering its, uh, its transformative leadership education for nine years now. Our first class was in 2005. Um, one of the real goals of this program is to help women create really big visions. They, I've, every graduate I've ever spoken to has gone through WLW talks about the fact that they come into the program with what they think is a big vision. And they leave the program with a vision that is 2x, 5x, sometimes 10x what they entered with. Um, we focus a lot on helping women create these big visions, become leaders of change, um, and go out and change the world, which in fact they have done. At this point in our, um, in our history, we have a community of, of almost 200 graduates and coaches working in 400 countries around the world. And we think they've touched the lives of over 100,000 people. So that's quite an accomplishment. I, you know, GWL and we are justly proud, I think, of what we've achieved, but also of what our alumni have achieved during the first nine years. Um, and this slide, and also your program guide, summarizes some of the work that our graduates are doing. Um, it happens to have one of my absolutely favorite pictures. Um, this woman is working in Africa. She's working on a water project, one of the many projects initiated by Gemma Bullis, the amazing Gemma Bullis, one of our graduates who is in our audience tonight. And I just, what I love about this picture is um, how proud she looks, how just um, brilliant and how proud she looks. You know, it's because GWLN is doing such an amazing job that, um, well, GWLN is doing such an amazing job in helping women transform the world that we want to do more. Um, we want to radically increase the number of women leaders and the impact they, del they deliver. So, in the best example, of practicing what we preach, um, we've given ourselves a truly big vision, a really audacious goal. We want to support five million women over the next five years. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Now, I'll admit, it's a stretch goal, and we still have <laughs> some things to figure out, but we have spent the last several months thinking about this and getting a lot of input and talking to potential partners. We're obviously not going to do this alone. And we believe this can be achieved with focus action in two areas. The first focus is going to be transformative leadership education. The WLW program, what we've been doing for the last nine years. Um, we know that the Women Leaders for the World training works. Our graduates go out and do amazing things. They do transform the world, and we think the world needs more of it. So our intent is to continue to offer WLW in Santa Clara, but we also want to be able to offer this training in other parts of the world. This is something that our graduates have been asking for for many, many years. So we want to be able to offer it in Africa, in India, in Istanbul, all over the world. We also want to be able to offer train the trainer versions of our programming to be able to extend the capacity to a much faster rate that we've been doing so far. Um, and I would say the third, the third element of that is that we recognize that there are other organizations that are doing great leadership training work, and it may be that we end up working with partners to some extent. Um, this is a big goal, and we're going to cast the big net. Our second focus is going to be on networks. Now, we are located in Silicon Valley, and I'm sure that everybody in this room appreciates the power of networking. Um, your being here represents the power of networks. Our alumni demonstrate this every day in terms of how they support one another. So we think there's a huge opportunity to connect women leaders into what we're calling regional and global alliances. Um, effectively, networks of networks. We think these alliances will fall, um, fulfill three key roles. One, they're going to support women leaders in their attainment of leadership skills and as their role as leaders. Um, we think they will support the women in the great work they're doing in the world. And finally, we think these alliances can enable and encourage greater collaboration. 
Now, as some of you may know, there are literally millions of nonprofit organizations in the world. I read the other day that there are over three million in just one country, India, alone. So a lot of organizations out there, great work is being done. But we do think that there's an opportunity for perhaps greater leverage and scale to be attained by greater collaboration um, and connection. And we think these alliances, these regional alliances, can be a catalyst for that. Um, we've identified six places where we would like to do regional pilots um, in, 19, in 2014. Three in the United States and three internationally. Um, Turkey, Africa, and, um, and in India. Um, um, and that's, that's going to be, and that will be a primary focus of what we're working on over the next year. You know, the futurist William Gibbs, Gibson, I don't know how many um, sci-fi readers we have in the room, but the futurist William Gibson has a great quote, quote, which I just love. He says, the future is already here, it's just not evenly distributed. So GWLN would intend, intends to widely and evenly distribute leadership training and networking. So I want to end on a note about a really perfect example of, the kind of what visionary and determined women can achieve. So the photo you have in front of you is of women who attended the founders meeting of GWLN Africa, our very first regional alliance. Um, it happened in August at Lake Naivasha, which is outside um, Nairobi, Kenya. And the 17 women pictured there, I think all 17 women are there, came from five countries, Kenya, Mozambique, Uganda, Zambia, and the US. And if any of you who have traveled in um, Africa know, not only is traveling amongst countries in Africa not particularly easy, it's absolutely not inexpensive. And so what it took for these women to come together and meet is really, really remarkable. Um, the women pictured there represent not only members of the GWLN community, but also women from other organizations, including Management Sciences for Health, Global Fund for Women, and so it really is the start of a network of networks, which is part of our vision. Now, the initial catalyst for this regional alliance was the petite little woman in the center wearing the beautiful shawl. Her name is Patricia Rain. Patricia is a graduate of um, GWN's first leadership class, and she decided that turning 70 was the right time to fulfill a lifelong dream of um, fulfilling her a visit, of visiting Africa. And she contacted her GWL and sisters to help make it a memorable visit, and look what transpired. Stand up, Patricia. <laughs> Yay! Yes, we are so proud of what she, Patricia, everybody um, in, 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 in Kenya achieved, and all their graduates in our room. So, in closing, I just want to, I hope, you either are or will become as excited about GWLN's future as I am. Um, there is much to do. We welcome your support. We need your support. We can't do it alone. Um, I would welcome the opportunity to talk to you individually about our vision and how you might want to be involved um, and the role you might want to play.